up? My name is Dr. Mita Rattan. I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin uh, color. So I'm on a holiday right now, which is why we're uh, not in my bedroom in England. We are on my balcony in Rhodes. <laughs> so I'm sorry if the quality of the sound isn't good. And also if my kids come running in and out, there's, I have no control over them right now. So um, I really wanted to film Super Goop sunscreens for you. Uh, so many of you requested it from me. I apologize for not having done it sooner, but it was actually a massive website. I really thought it was a new brand. I thought there were a few sunscreens for me to review, but no, this brand has been around for 15 years. They're there are countless sunscreens on this website. <laughs> and I also thought it was founded by Gwyneth Paltrow. Did anyone else think that Gwyneth Paltrow founded Supergoop? She owns a company called Goop. And Supergoop is owned by Holly Thackard, who is a teacher. So I found that very interesting, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was just me who didn't know. <laughs> right, so this video is which sunscreens from Supergoop are best for skin of color and which ones to avoid. As you know, none of my videos have ever been sponsored and they will never be sponsored. This is purely my love letter to my skin of color family. So, you, so that you are educated and empowered as to what to purchase and what to avoid. If that sounds good to you, give me a thumbs up. Let's dive right in. So first things first, I think it's important for you to know my criteria for sunscreens for skin of color. So number one, I always prefer mineral sunscreens over chemical sunscreens. The reason being mineral, i.e. zinc or titanium, have a number of benefits. One, they don't enter the bloodstream, unlike majority of chemical filters, which go into the bloodstream, into the urine, into breast milk, which is why we tell those who are pregnant to use mineral sunscreen, not chemical sunscreens. Um, and I would take this one step further and say I want everybody, <laughs> ideally, to wear mineral sunscreen over chemical, especially our children. Um, I think they get neglected a lot in the sunscreen market. For my own children, for example, I always just wear, put mineral sunscreen on them. The other benefit with zinc is that it's anti-inflammatory. So, for example, with Inzincable, it has a 17% zinc oxide in it. Now, at 17%, it's reducing inflammation of other pathology taking place on the skin. So for example, if you have eczema or you have psoriasis or you have sensitive skin or you're getting heat rash, ideally you want to wear a soothing ingredient in your sunscreen multiple times a day in order to protect the skin and to calm down any inflammation. The other reason why this is absolutely essential for skin of color is that with us, don't forget, when for example, you get eczema, it's not just the eczema I'm worried about, it's the pigmentation left after you have the eczema. And this is why we want to minimize any inflammation of the skin of color. For us, our melanocytes are large and they are easily triggered. This means that we want to prevent those cells from being triggered by using anti-inflammatory ingredients and not irritating the skin too much which is another reason why I prefer mineral over chemical. In addition, I prefer broad spectrum SPF 50. Now, you need to understand what that means. First of all, SPF 50 only pertains to UVB rays. So SPF 50 is the maximum protection you can get for UVB rays. Now for UVA rays, it means nothing. SPF has got no bearing on how much protection you're getting from UVA rays, which is why you want to look at the word broad spectrum on your sunscreen. Not only that, you also want to look for the rating. So PA and then how many pluses. So four pluses is a maximum protection you can get, which is, for example, what we did with Inzincable. But I wouldn't want you to do anything less than three pluses. So look for the rating and protection of UVA because UVA rays leads to aging. Both UVA and UVB can lead to skin cancer. Now, I personally would always opt for no white cast. Having said that, before you know we made Inzincable and I wanted a mineral sunscreen, the majority of them gave me a white cast. And I'm the type of person, because I get melasma, I, would, I didn't really mind looking ridiculous <laughs> and having people laugh at me <laughs> with my you know, white cast face. I remember when I used to drop my daughter to school and before the moms really knew you know, that I was this crazy about skincare. <laughs> um, they used to think I was a little bit odd with my white cast face. So, you know, I, it's not for everybody and, you know, each to their own. Um, but I do prefer 
uh, no white cast. But you know what? I'd rather make sure you get protection over the whole white cast, yes or no debacle. <laughs> I also make sure um, sunscreens are NAF safe. That means no denatured alcohol, no fragrance and no essential oils. Denatured alcohol can dry the skin. That's what leads to that quick dry effect. I wouldn't do that with sunscreens, for example, when you're already your skin is already dehydrated. With fragrance, it's number one cause of contact dermatitis, so I would avoid that, especially when your skin is being assaulted by UV rays all day long, and essential oils. Essential oils are skin sensitizers, so I'd avoid those too. Okay, so the first one I'm going to talk about is one that, so I've got my notes in front of me, um, is one that is being heavily marketed at the moment, so I want to cover it. It's called Unseen Sunscreen, SPF 40, PA with three pluses. So for me, the PA rating is not high enough, and the UV um, B rating is not high enough. I want SPF 50, and ideally four pluses if possible. It's also a chemical sunscreen, so it does absorb into the bloodstream. It's got avobenzone, 3%, homosalate, 8%, octosalate, 5%, octocrylene, 4%. It has no fragrance, which I'm happy about, but they use frankincense, uh, which can be a skin sensitizer. So for me, it's not really worth using this particular ingredient, and I would say avoid. The next one is Play SPF 50 uh, with sunflower extract. So it's SPF 50 PA with four pluses. So I love this about it. It is maximum UVA, maximum UVB protection. Uh, it's also water resistant, which I love, uh, 80 minutes. On initial inspection, I thought I would definitely purchase this product for swimming. Um, or for running for that part of the day. The problem is they went and added a ton of fragrant oils from rosewood oil, citrus peel oil, which I wouldn't use during the day, and eucalyptus oil. These are all skin sensitizers, and not ideal to wear, you know, when UV is hitting the skin. So for me, it was an avoid. Okay, so the next one is Glow Screen SPF 40, PA with three pluses. It's a much better formula. It is NAFE safe, so that's excellent. Uh, it's got 3% avobenzone, 5%, octosalate and 10% octocrylene. It's a decent chemical sunscreen, but I think you could do better on UVA and UVB protection because it's SPF 40 and then PA3 pluses. So, so far it's, it's, it's a front runner for me. Okay, so the next one is Play SPF 50, which is an antioxidant body mist. It's water resistant for 80 minutes, so that's excellent. I love that it's non-aerosol. So avoid aerosol sunscreens as particles can be inhaled. So I don't mind mists because you don't, you're unlikely to inhale liquid droplets but aerosols you're much more likely to inhale, so I would avoid those. It is a chemical sunscreen, and they did put in a ton of essential oils again, so they put in lime, grapefruit, lemon, and mandarin, plus more. They've even got lavendula and mentha, and denatured alcohol is very high on the inky list, so don't forget, the inky list is the ingredients list, I-N-C-I, is in descending order, so the highest percentages are at the top, and it's in descending order on the way down. Having denatured alcohol high up is the reason they did it is so that it was a quick dry effect on the skin. But I wouldn't really want that multiple times a day in the sun. So for me, this one was also an avoid. Don't worry, it does get better from here on in. The next one is Play SPF 50, 100% mineral. I like this formula. It is nay safe. Um, I don't know if it leaves a white cast or not, um, but so far it's my favorite sunscreen on the website. Guys, if you if you have tried a bl um, Play SPF 50 100% Mineral, can you write down below yes or no to whether it has a white cast or not? Because I like the formula and I would recommend it. I would purchase it and I would use it too. At this point, I realized that they actually had a whole section on the website dedicated to mineral sunscreens, which I was so excited about and I wish I'd figured that out at the beginning of this video, <laughs> the beginning of my research, but I think it's all good information for everybody out there. So uh, the next one is the CC cream, 100% mineral CC cream. It says PA3 pluses on the pack and PA4 pluses on the website. So I'm not sure which one it is. And that's something they need to address because you do need to be very accurate with sunscreen labeling. Um, it is nave safe though, which I love and I would buy this. So this one is a Dr. V approved product too. Right, so the next one is Sunny Screen 100% Mineral Lotion SPF 50. This is for babies and for kids. Um, I love the ingredients. Again, it's nave safe. From the reviews, it does look like it has a white cast and it's hard to rub in. But from my experience, children generally don't care <laughs> about white cast as much as we do. 
Um, and so actually I would purchase it and I would put this on my Instagram as a Dr. V approved product. The other one I like is Aveeno Continuous, again, for children, but again, such a white cast and so hard to rub in. But again, kids don't care as much. And I'm, you know, I just don't want, ideally, chemicals to be entering the bloodstream for them. It's not that right now we don't know what the long-term repercussions of that is. And so we don't know one way or the other, but being a mom myself, I know what I would do for my children. And then I'm only going to recommend to you what I would do for my kids. You know, so right. Next one is a uh, sunny screen SPF 50 spray. Uh, again, I love the ingredients. It's safe, safe, it's mineral. Therefore, again, doesn't enter the bloodstream. Reviews say it's quite white, but not as much as the previous sunscreen that I've just uh, recommended. So again, this is one that I love and one that I would purchase. Right, if you found today helpful, can you write, can you give me a thumbs up? Can you tell me which other brands you want me to review? Which other videos you want me to make specifically for um, summer. I am thinking about going back to making five videos a week for YouTube. If that's something that you want as well, can you write it down below? Or if you're happy with my three videos a week, you know, let me know too. I'm, I'm here to serve you and your needs. Don't forget to hit that notification bell because I'm in the comment section for one out of the launch every single video. Don't forget to download your free guide for skincare for skin of color. Link is down below. I'm on Instagram at the Hyperpigmentation Clinic and Skincare by Dr. V and on TikTok, Dr. V Taratan. Thank you very much.